Hello everybody, my name is Paulie and welcome to Organic Gardening Together. Today um, we're going to be um, mixing our rye berries with our substrate and I'll teach you how I did that. Um, what you're seeing on the video now is day 12. I am just checking up to see if there's um, any growth. Um, Basically, to catch you up on what happened with the last episode, we inoculated these rye berries with um, psilocybin cubensis um, strain of uh, penis envy. The penis envy is the strain. Yes. So, um, yeah, so we waited uh, 31 days till we mixed them with the substrate again. This is uh, day 12. I'm just checking up on uh, on growth here, and um, yeah. So I hope you enjoy. On the bottom, I don't think so. Nothing on the bottom. All right, two of them. Oh, got this one. Number three. Nice, nice. Here we are five days later. This is day 25 since I inoculated the um, <clears throat> the bags. So um, today's mixing day. It's about 40% this one. This one looks uh, about 30%, maybe 25. There's a lot kind of like in the, um, there's a lot colonized, right? Colonialized? Colonialized. Anyway, there's a lot in the middle that we can't see. This one should have been done. They're all almost at different stages. Like, look at the difference between this one and this one. Let me grab my tripod and show you how we uh, mix them. It's really easy. Okay, now that I got my tripod, let's mix them up.
making sure you do not touch that filter. You don't want to touch it with the grains inside, and you don't want to touch it from the outside. So we'll just do, make sure the big bits are crushed up. Now you don't want too many air gaps, but you also don't want to damage anything. So what we do is you take your hand, you lift it about a foot, and you just kind of pack it. Put it back in the box and wait for it to um, hit to be a hundred percent. All right, this is day 31. Looks about a hundred percent. Let me get the. Uh, Alright, looks like uh, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good too. It looks worse on that camera. Like, those look un uncolonized, col colonized, colonialized, whatever. But, um, yeah. That looks uh, pretty, pretty good. None of them got contaminated, none of them are green. I think we might mix with the substrate today. Oh yeah. Nice. Alright, let's uh... Oh, this one's got some humidity in it. I'm sure that stalled growth a little. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Just opened it. Done. There we go. We got our substrate. All right. So we have our six bags of grain spawn. We have three bags of our compost that we're going to mix these with. And we have our casing layer, which will be um, put on top after, right before we're gonna do fruiting conditions. When these are ready, we'll put it on top and give it a couple more days. So uh, here we go. They come with bags. So the goal is to put half of that in the bag mix it up with that and then we'll let it sit another couple days and do its thing thing you know
We're done mixing our substrate. I'm gonna keep um, these here for about seven to 10 days, probably about 10 days. And um, yeah, just stay tuned for my next video. I have three I'm keeping here in my grow closet. I have the box like this. And uh, I check on them so air will be exchanged. And um, I got my other three. Let me get a better look of them. Got my other three down there. I have no other space for them. All right. So stay tuned um, next week. Not next week. About two weeks. Probably, yeah, probably longer than that because uh, I'll do a whole fruiting um, episode and everything. But uh, check out my other videos and um, like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.